Howdy! Let's have fun in BU. All my stories started from a youth dialogue about climate change at Triangle. I started to make new friends and participate in activities I liked, such as a RHK competition. I came up with three prototypes. After discussing and voting, we chose Green Rack. To prepare for our competition, one of my friends, Jeannie, has built this fabulous 3D models for our green rack. We were lucky to get into the short list for the second round. Although we didn't show up in the third round, I still learned a lot from this competition. Another enjoyable activity is attending exhibitions. Can you imagine that in our communication department we have our gallery? Seems like I am an art student, you know, I'm so fashionable and so um, aesthetic. You know, we always have a good taste of art because we have gallery, haha. <laughs> it might be hard for you to imagine how much I like going to different sorts of galleries whether are about infrastructures or devices or photograph or architecture painting whatever i just like it makes me an archaeologist i'm excavating feelings emotions and knowledge sank into my heart my and my brain similar metaphor would be i'm doing chemical experiments some pieces of work would be catalyst for your feeling or your understanding of something apart from visual feasts here we have a dancing game. The work is a combination of an organizer, a playwright, and an Indian dancer. Not only a dancing show to watch, but also a dancing game to participate in. I have to say I love Indian dancing. The thing I have been paying much attention to is a series of activities about organic, green, eco-friendly. Sorry, but spoiler warning again. In my school, we have an organic museum. At this moment, I just want to say, be you, you surprise me a lot. You are giving me surprises every day with different little gifts. I know, I know those things are just like interactive devices for children, but I really enjoy it. This is a trip to an organic dragon fruit farm. The alarm is electronic birds trying to disperse insects. Sorry about my exhilarating shout may scare you. That was my first time to see a sheep flock in person. Other minor surprises and happiness are happening every day. For example, I ran into this secondhand book table and found a batch of classic CD and I chose four of them. Thanks to the CD, I had my New Year concert night at home. Drop the logic in this video, let's go to lectures. Yes, in BU, I have attended a lot of lectures, whether in my communication department or uh, from other departments. I really appreciate. This is Professor Jenkinson, one of the world's most renowned experts in popular culture and comics, and he's answering my question. It's my honor to make giant figures only uh, read on textbooks. By the way, Professor Jenkins is so friendly and energetic. I really admire him and appreciate his instruction for my question. Next, uh, let me introduce something about play. Literally, play. This is a school trip to Dongpingzhou. We were on boarding and we were being chased by waves. The wind was so strong, lucky I'm shot here. One of the magic things about Hong Kong is that you never know the ground you are standing has a million years. Here I am, once again. I'm always on the beach. Those high buildings across the sea belong to Shenzhen. So in this area, on the island, you cannot use Hong Kong telecommunication service. Hong Kong has many beautiful islands, and the coastal line sealeries are so attractive. No Australia, no New Zealand, just Hong Kong. No Bali, no Fiji, just Hong Kong Island. I have had so many unforgettable experiences in BU in semester one, and my story is still continued, and it's going on. And looking forward to more stories and adventures. Thanks, BU.